Colleagues, we have a beautiful constitution uh, in, in this country. Our government has on numerous occasions made it clear that they support media freedom and they will do everything in their power to protect that freedom and to make sure that uh, our media report anything they would like to report on or publish whatever they want to publish without fear or favor. Our communication objectives should be realized. If they are not realized because of what is re written in the media, then it is up to us again to rectify that. But then we cannot do that without doing media content analysis. We know some of the departments that have contracted media analysis companies. And we also know that often what you receive from those companies is substandard. It doesn't actually meet your needs. Uh, sometimes they miss your issues. They don't understand your issues. Sometimes the way in which they do the analysis, you can't understand it. And the other thing is the cost. Um, the cost of, media, of, of, of procuring media analysis is so uh, enormous that it's a deterrent to us having uh, you know, to us having a media analysis function. We do not own the media. Therefore, our messages may be distorted. Irrespective of how many statements you churn out, how many briefings you hold, at the end of the day, you do not control how that message is going to be disseminated. The United States will likely to say, look, our soldiers are so kind-hearted, they even help the enemy. You understand? The same event, when, when, when a journalist writes a story about that, it's likely to be, you know, different from the first one. So this is exactly what is happening in, the, in our media world. There is an event, there is an incident happening, another journalist chooses a particular frame. This is my, my, my angle for the story, I'm going to focus on this. Those of you that are thinking about starting or already have some kind of capacity in your departments, one of the things that you need to think about is to properly capacitate this function. The fact of the matter is that we're not capacitated to, to be able to do it for a department or for a province. Sometimes we've done it, but it takes a lot out of us. It takes weeks and months and we have to put everything else aside. Now ideally, what we want to do is we want to help you develop the capacity and you take that capacity that you've developed and pass it on to other people. As communicators as well, we have a responsibility to ensure that our people out there get information from government on government programs and that information that they get, it should get to them in a manner intended. But then we cannot do that without doing media content analysis. Media analysis provides an insight into the likelihood of people forming a particular opinion and on whom or what that opinion is likely to be based. While the media anal analysis does not tell you what people think, it does tell you what people are likely to think about, particularly in the absence of additional information or direct experience. You all do media monitoring and analysis but whenever you do this you cannot do an analysis of everything you make you need to make a choice of what you are going to analyze so you need to use certain criteria in doing this what are the perceptions that are driven by the media what is it that we want to change do we need to educate our people about our programs? Do we need to accelerate communication on this particular matter? And of course, GCIS is available for coordinating, sharing. So let's say, for example, we find that a sharing mechanism works between us. We would be very interested in exploring that. So we also want you guys to give us ideas, how we can share, how we can make this work for all of government. We would appreciate that. If your people can capture the data, so even those people that are doing the old-fashioned way where you are taking the cutting it out, taking the copies, you know, pasting it, all of that, that's still data. If your people can capture the data, 
we can do the analysis. And that's another possible area of collaboration, especially with the provinces.